Alright, for these next few steps, uh, what you're going to need is some 20 gauge wire. I've got two colors here, red and black, insulated. Solder, wire strippers, a pair of wire cutters, trusty soldering iron, a sponge or a wet rag, it's always important. And uh, you're going to need your junction box squeeze connector pieces that we did here in earlier steps. What we're going to do is go ahead and, and put these wires on the bus, bus line, the red one, and also hook up a negative wire here uh, on the cathode side of the first solar cell. Uh, so what we want to do here is go ahead and turn on our trusty all solar powered workstation inverter. We're going to heat up our iron and while we do that I'm going to go ahead and start installing this squeeze connector at the end. It's kind of important to have something to uh, place the wire in while you're working with it. So take your solar cells off of your panel flip it over. Use the number six machine screws, one half inch long. And just set them through your holes that we made in the earlier steps for the squeeze connector. Flip it back over, just kind of hold those in place while you're flipping it over. Put on one of your rubber grommets over those two machine screws. That's your first layer of insulation. And I think uh, we're about ready here. What I want to do is go ahead and I'm going to just set this second insulator on there. And we've got a piece of uh, red number 20 gauge wire, five feet long. And cut that wire, get the rest of it out of the way. Want to strip it. Strip the insulation off, about three-eighths of an inch of it. And what we want to do here, we're also, we're also going to need our solder flux. This isn't out of a pin form, this is actually comes in a little canister. And then we want to just dab the flux right on there. Into the insulation, or I'm sorry, onto your stripped wire. Shock it. Got to see if it's hot enough here. Looks like it's getting nice and shiny. And uh, need just a dab of solder. And we are going to tin the 20 gauge wire. Just takes a second. It's nice and shiny. I'm going to go ahead and do the other wire, the black wire. Cut it five foot long for this one, for this solar panel. I'm going to be sure I can dress it in to the other systems that we have. I'm going to strip that wire about three eighths of an inch. Half inch is okay too. Uh, we're going to dip, dip the wire in flux, shock our trusty iron, shock it, Should have a nice silver tip on there, a little dab of solder, and we're going to tin 
our lead wire, our negative lead wire. Just takes a second, turns nice bright silver, and we're good there. Once you've tinned those two wires, go ahead and get your uh, negative wire out of the way. And we are ready to solder our positive lead to the bus wire. All right. As you recall, we had it all dressed in here to actually come down on the red insulated area. So that it'll come up to our squeeze connector. And all you need to do here is you put, I, I use about 10 pieces of paper, just you know, off of a post-it. And I'm going to put that underneath the lead, the bus, bus wire, bus lead, so that we can solder our wire to it. Make sure that your bus lead isn't twisted. Got it all tinned up there. I'm going to use the rosin flux pin to actually put rosin on the end of the tab line. We want that to have a nice flow quickly. And then we're going to solder our red lead to the tab line and more than anything else you just want to make sure that it will actually be underneath a squeeze connector when at all possible and I'm going to use the trusty wood stick to hold it down once you've got that held down shock it a little dab of solder on the end and you can go ahead and solder up your leads once you have that lead soldered into place you're going to put that inside the squeeze connector Make sure there's no hot irons around. Just remove your uh, paper. Take off one of the insulators from your squeeze connector area. And you're going to try to direct that right in there to where it sits inside the squeeze connector. And also you want to see if it makes sure that it's all going to line up on your red insulator. Once you know that's going to happen pretty well, you're ready to go ahead and just put uh, your other insulator on your squeeze connector. Once you have your second insulator on your squeeze connector. Remember that the wires are going between the two insulators. Go ahead and put your tab of aluminum over top of that. That's far enough for now. We still have a few more things to do. You want that to be somewhat loose in there so that you're able to maneuver it and work it a little bit. We're actually going to uh, put insulator over top of this bus wire just to hold it in place. A little bit different than working with uh, you know glass solar cell or glass solar panels uh, where you can just tape them down. You want to make sure this is exactly where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, run some pin striping over the top of the bus line. just from where that first solar cell at the top of your panel begins. It's going to start right there at the first part of the solar cell. We're going to leave this area that makes the 90 degree turns. That's going to remain open for now. We're just going to put a piece of uh, 
pinstriping or insulator tape, same color red, over top of the bus line, down here to the bottom last piece of the solar panel. We're going to leave the 90 degree angles exposed. For now. Make sure your Make sure, you, make sure that your uh, bus line is right over top of your insulator that you have on the solar panel. Because once you put this down, it's there. That, that insulator has to be underneath of the bus line. It's a little tricky, but as long as you're taking your time, it shouldn't be a problem. find that it's it's too difficult for you to do the entire run you can just do a 10 10 10 cell section of it and just tape down the bus line to the red insulator that you have already put onto the solar panel It's a little bit of work. You got a wood stick. You can always move things around with that. Stretch it a little bit. Usually, if you can just center that, it doesn't look like it's staying right in the middle. Put down another piece of tape. It's not a big deal. You definitely want that bus wire to be on insulation. Otherwise this panel will, will not work. You've worked too hard on it to get it wrong now. Just pull it a little. Smooth it out. We'll come back to getting that the little pieces of scotch tape, just we're going to basically cut them off right at the insulator. Just working our way down. I think I need at least one more piece of tape here to help me out. Now the only thing that's really being held down is this piece of bus line that we're covering on both sides with insulation. That's just so it will stay on that, that insulated area once we're ready to uh, pour resin. And once again, we're just going to put the red pinstriping just down to the last piece, uh, last solar cell. We're not covering the entire line yet. All the 90 degree angles are remaining open. best just to cut this off with some scissors. Sharp ones if you have them. And that's one step closer. We're getting very close to the pour here. That's looking real good. I think we're ready to go ahead and solder our negative lead and put a lead on there. So let's do that next. Turn on our trusty 
solar powered inverter. Gotta let this heat up a little bit. And once again, we want to put paper underneath the area that we're going to be working in so we don't melt any of our insulation or tape that we've got down on here. We want maximum flow quickly. So we put on some rosin. Hold it down with the wood stick. That way you're not burning yourself. It holds it in place quite well. Putting a lot of pressure on that to hold it down into place while we're soldering. I'm going to shock it. Bring that tip up, a little bit of solder, and we put it down on there, just long enough for it to melt. If you're not satisfied, you can always go back across it. That looks real nice. Nice and silver in color, not too much on there, didn't turn hazy, that would mean it would have to be a cold solder joint. I think we're good to go there and save some of our energy. I think we can pretty much put away the solder, the soldering iron. Alright, now we're ready to put this squeeze connector together. Just put your second insulator over top.